Welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a stern transom mount for your electric trolling motor on a small fishing boat. Today what we're going to do is we want to build a transom mount on the boat for this electric trolling motor. If you look at the stern of the boat, you'll see there's a transom board back here to make this flush with the lip of the boat. And this is needed to keep the boat rigid. And that's how the motor mounts on there. But there is none here where I want to mount the trolling motor. So we have to build one here. I'm going to show you what we need to do that inexpensively. First, I'm going to use the table saw so I make nice cuts, you know, straight, even cuts on the boards that I have. We're also going to need a drill and drill bits because we're going to drill holes through here to securely mount that onto the transom. And then we need material to build this up. Now, I could use pressure treated wood, but I found a cheap alternative. If you think about the cutting boards you can use in your kitchen, uh, you get these at the dollar store for three or four bucks a piece and they never rot because they're plastic. So that's what I chose to do. I also like that they have a rounded edge. So I can cut this across here, mount this to the top, and it'll have a nice finished edge on the bottom. And then we'll drill our screws through there. So that's what we're gonna attempt. Follow along and see how we do. First thing we wanna do is measure how much distance we need uh, underneath that lip so we see how far to cut our board. From the top of the transom mount to the bottom of the lip is three inches. So I'm going to make this four inches to give me plenty of space. So we know our cut is going to be four inches. You can see I set my saw at four inches. Of course, there is a circular blade. So I can run them through this way and I'll make a perfect four inch cut every time. first piece mount like that if you didn't care about that bottom edge you could have squared that off and got two pieces out of each board to save you, you know, three or four dollars. But I'm, I'll use these for something. That's what it'll look like. We're gonna mount that just like that. So that's where it's gonna go. I'm going to use these stainless steel screws and washers so they won't corrode. Uh, and I don't need a really heavy one because this isn't really carrying any weight. It's going to be compressed by the controls, just giving it something to bite into. So I really just got to hold it in place.
Then we'll just match the screw to a drill bit because we don't want it loose. We want it to fit pretty snug. So that looks like the perfect one. So I'm gonna use a clamp on the edge, kind of hold them in place for me. Get this done. So I got them exactly the way I want them. Okay, so that's a good snug fit. And then now we're going to drill the holes into the boat for this. So by leaving that screw in flush with the back, that'll keep the boards together. And I can drill through this hole, and then I can put the screw in this side and drill that hole, and then I got a good set. So I don't need to clamp anymore. Now you can be precise with your measuring, I am not. Okay, so you got a first mark. We gotta switch this around now and put this on the other side so we can drill the next hole. Got a big flat washer there. There you can see the washer. I have one of those for each side. And a washer for the other side. And what I'll do, after I have this all tightened down, I'll take a saw and I'll cut off the excess screw so you know I don't rip my hand or something reaching down for the gas can. Now we're ready to drill the other side. Stainless steel bolt and washer. Other side. So before we tighten that all the way up, we want to make sure that it fits properly. Tighten them down. Okay, now we're ready to cut them. You could use a hacksaw, a hand hacksaw, or maybe a little saber saw. But like the old Tim the Tool Man Taylor, I'm pulling out the reciprocating saw with a metal blade. You can see, looks pretty good. Get these little pieces out of here. When they cool down, they're still hot. So now we can see how the motor is going to work on there. Hey, 
there you can see she's ready have her set at the right height of course that's adjustable and then uh, you know if you're going somewhere you can tilt it up and if you're trailing with your little electric motor on here you can also pull this up further so that shows you for twelve dollars and two stainless steel bolts four washers and two nuts that's maybe two bucks you can finish that installation for under fifteen dollars and it's never going to rot because it's those plastic chopping boards the only other thing that I would suggest I don't have it here with me is to put either a thin strip of rubber or you know the self sticky foam right here on the inside it doesn't have to be very thick an eighth of an inch is fine just so this has something to bite into that's going to be fine because I don't transport the boat with the trolling motor on here I put it on when I get to the ramp so for me it's fine but someone who's making it more of a permanent installation may want to put a piece of rubber right on there just to give us something to bite into with that project's done didn't take very long if this video helped you and you liked it consider subscribing to the channel it's free it helps me out a lot also ring that notification bell and you'll know every time i put up a new video and also give the video a thumbs up that helps too but more important than all that Go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.